All right, Advent of Code 2022, day two. Let's go ahead and get into it. Um, Elf gives you an encrypted strategy guide, my puzzle input. Um, the second call, okay, the first column is what your opponent is going to play. A for a rock, B for paper, C for scissors. The second column um, must be what you should play in response. X for rock, Y, and Z. So let's map this. A is rock. B is paper and C is scissors. And then X is rock, Y is paper, and Z is scissors. The winner of the total tournament is the player with the highest score. Your total score is the sum of scores for each round. Sum of scores for each round. The score for the single round is the score for the shape you selected. One, oh geez, one for rock. Two for paper and three for scissors. Plus the score for the outcome of the round. Zero for lost. Three for a draw and six if you win. Okay, so we've got some sample input here. Let's run this. 2022, day two, sample. Paste that in. The strategy guide predicts the recommends the following. In the first round, your opponent will choose rock A. And you should choose paper Y. This ends in a win for you with a score of eight. Two because you chose paper plus six because you won. In the second round, the opponent will choose paper B and you should choose rock. Oh, okay, you're wanting to get the most. The third round is a draw with both players choosing scissors, giving you a score of three plus three equals six. In the above example, if you were to follow the strategy guide, you would get a total of 15 points. Um, oops, I was putting all of this in the wrong thing, so we're going to snag this out, put it in here, total points. What would your total score be if everything goes exactly according to your strategy guide? And my strategy guide looks like this, right? So, um, okay, let's go ahead and do... For entry, for um, for battle in data, print battles. These are going to be the individual lineups, right? No directory. Yeah, we got to swap that, and we want to do a sample. Okay, so we've got the that thing. Yep, yep, yep. So. Now we need to have a mapping probably of the points, right? So we've got, um, geez, I don't know. We've got A um, is worth one, it was determined, right? B, we'll have to uppercase these in a second. C was three. Um, same concept with X. Right, Y, and Z. Um, so now let's print uh, the mapping of battle dot upper. So we should now get points, uh, except we gotta split those. Sure, sure, sure. So we're going to say, um, Pieces is going to equal battle split uh, split on the space, right? And then pieces, uh, let's just say for now the, the left ones, right? Um, and we don't have a key, but we did upper, we want lower. We got one, two, three which is correct because we've got A, B, and C. Okay, so then we've got um, opponent uh, choice is going to be pieces, zero, and then we want uh, my choice, and this is going to be one. Um, so then we can do this, and I'm just going to uppercase all of these. Um, and then we're going to print 
the opponent choice, and we're going to print my choice, just to make sure that we've got the mappings. Yep, but then we need the mapping of that thing. Mapping of that thing. Right, and okay, we've got some points. We've got a none we need to take care of. To do, wow, I program in too many languages. Fix the none. Okay, so we've got some points here, um, and we basically want to uh, pair them up together, right, to see who won. So um, uh, I win is going to be if my choice, the mappings of my choice, is greater than the mappings of the opponent's choice. Um, and we're going to do that, right? And then so we're going to say, did I win? And it should be true, false, false. Um, you, this ends in a loss for you with a score of one. Okay, good. And so then we've got the winnings. So now we need to get um, the total points, right? So for each of these battles, um, uh, this is going to be total points. Um, it's going to equal zero. We're going to come in here and say um, that the total is going to plus equals the mapping of my choice. Um, and then depending on who won, right? So um, if I won, then the total is going to plus equals uh, winning, which is six. Um, and then uh, else, else if, um, if these are equal, right? If they're a draw, um, then we're going to do draw. Well, if it's a draw, then we're going to have the total plus equals. Oh, I feel like I'm going so slow. And we're going to have the total, and this should be 15. So now we can swap this to input, and then we can run it again, and we've got this number, and we can punch that in, and hopefully that's a point. It's not the right answer. That's super unfortunate. Um, okay, so what did we miss here? So in the first, you will choose rock and whatever. This ends in a win for you with a score of eight. Two, because you chose paper, and six, because you won. Um, and that's for every battle right oh man that's super unfortunate sample the sample data was correct we did get a 15 that was the total um i'm not accounting for something in here then um this is fine i won means that my choice is greater than um draw equals that in the second round your opponent will choose paper and you should choose rock this ends in a loss for you with a score of one right so we had eight oops we had eight plus a one is nine. That's perfect. The third round is a draw with both players choosing scissors, giving you this. Um, okay, what about... Mm, oh, and zero, right? There was a zero for a loss. Ah, oh, geez. So um, if not, I uh, win a total... Well, we already have that, All right? You don't get anything if if these don't happen, and so we already have that plus the score of the outcome, right? So the winner of the whole tournament is the player with the highest score. Your total score is the sum of scores of each round. The score for a single round um, is the score of the shape you selected, one, two, three, plus the score of the outcome of the round, zero, three, six. For example, the strategy guide predicts, the, ah, man, what am I missing? What am I missing? Oh, what, what would your total score be if everything goes exactly according to your strategy guide? If everything, uh, the first column is what your opponent is going to play. The second column, suddenly the elf is called to someone's tent. Oh, so, so basically, um, maybe we want to start with this, right? If not, I won, then we want to continue. 
LF, right? Maybe? No. Uh, or not draw, maybe? No, we got rid of everything. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Um... Yeah, I think that's the, the kicker. <laughs> your total score is the sum of the scores. What would your total score be if everything goes exactly according to your strategy guide? Well, see, they even include a loss, though. This ends with a loss of a score of one, the third. Oh, what am I missing? What am I missing? What am I missing? What am I missing? Oh, man. I'm getting burned. I already guessed this and it was incorrect. What am I missing? What am I missing? We've got all sorts of fun stuff in here. Tons and tons of data. Yeah, that's not the reason. Why do I have a nun in there? Oh, do I have an index error somewhere? That would be really unfortunate. <laughs> <laughs> Turn total. Oh, that is way lower. No, that's the same number. That's the same number. Why is it? Ah, oh, man. Mapping of my choice. If I win... You get six points for a win. If if it's a draw, and then else, right? It's the same number. Oh. Winning every time would be suspicious, so the responses must be have been carefully chosen. The winner of the whole tournament is the player with the highest score. Your total score is the sum of the scores for each round. The score for a single round is the score of the shape plus the score of the outcome. Since you can't be sure the elf is trying to help or trick you, you should calculate the score you would get if you were to, to follow the strategy guide. This strategy guide predicts the following. Uh, predicts and recommends the following. If you were to follow the strategy guide, you would get a total score of 8 plus 1 plus 6, which is what the sample data did. 8 plus 1 is 9, plus 6 is 15. What would your total score be if everything goes exactly according to your strategy guide? If I win, I get six points. If I draw, I get three. Otherwise, I lost. I get nothing. But you do get the total for your choice. I couldn't possibly understand what I'm missing here. And it's probably something really dumb. What would be, what would your total score be if everything goes exactly according to your strategy guide. Rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors. 
ABC, XYZ. Oh my goodness, what what is happening? There's not anything hiding that's lowercase, is there? Because that would be rude. Nope, nothing hiding. Oh man. <clears throat> Okay, I mean, let's start debugging. Um, the opponent choice mapping, what I want. Um, mine. Wow, wow, wow. Uh, let's do. Right, none of these should be over three. That's, that's good. Um, but then I want, I win. Let's make sure that that is set up correctly. All right, so it should be false for everything. <gasps> no, 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 I'm so dumb. I had a bad order here of operations. No, say no, it doesn't matter. <clears throat> wow. Um okay, we're gonna we're gonna un we're gonna undo this. We're gonna say I win and draw. Right, so we lost, we won. We won, these are all correct so far, we lost. We tied, I mean, these are, this is all correct. So I thought for a second that I needed to flip the draw to be first, because if we had I win first, it would skip over because these are if else's. Mm. Zero if you lost. Three if the round was a draw, and six if you won. Maybe we shouldn't need any of this. Yeah. Oh my goodness, what in the world? Players each simultaneously choose one of rock, paper, or scissors using a hand shape. Then a winner of that round is selected. Rock defeats scissors, scissors defeats paper, and paper defeats rock. Oh, am I literally just going off of the point value and... Oh my freaking heck. Oh no. Well, okay. So, hmm. This is bad, 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 bad. Right, so A, A is a rock. Rock beats scissors, which is a Z. Unbelievable. I totally messed it up. B is paper. And B beats rock, which is X. Um, and <laughs> C beats Y. Draw mappings. Oh, this pains my soul that they tricked me. So A um, is a rock and that meets up with X. And there's a way better way to do this, but I'm so far behind now, I'm just gonna take the 
the quick and dirty X, Y, Z, right? C and Z. Oh my goodness. Okay, so pretty much now what we need to have happen is we need to say, um, <clears throat> if if the winning mappings, if my choice is in the winning mappings, um, and it equals the How to dynamically do this? If my choice is in the winning mappings, aka if A, it's going to say, hey, that's a Z. Um, uh, oh, doy, opponent choice. Then we won, right? <clears throat> ah, this is so stupid. Yeah, this is it. Then we won, right? Elif, um, if my choice is in the draw mappings, uh, is the opponent's choice, then we tied. And then else we lost, and then that's going to equal a total of zero, and then all of this, and then we get the points for the thing, and we have no Y, apparently. What? A, B, C, X, Y, Z, X, Z, X, Y, B, C, key error, Y, <laughs> what? Winning map, oh, because, oh, this isn't. Oh, these are flipped. The opponent's choices are ABC. My choices are the XYZs. Um, so technically it's that, right? Run this, a different answer. Paste that in, submit it. That's not right, oh my goodness. Well, let's switch this back to the sample, right? Because if we can get the sample, yeah, it's too too much, 21. So, okay. If, if the opponent chooses A, right, and I chose, oh, shoot. Z, X, Y, uh, this is dumb. A, B, C, X, A, Y, Z, and A, B, C, from the perspective of the, of me, right? And then technically these would be back. That shouldn't really change anything, but I have a cool down right now that I'm trying to burn through. 21 still. Oh shoot, that's a zero. Oh my gosh, I hate my life. It's always dumb little keyboard input errors. That's a new number. We'll punch that in and see if it takes it. That's still too much. Wow, okay. <clears throat> all right, so scissors does not beat rock. That is all messed up. I wondered if we... Scissors beats paper. Rock beats scissors. Sample. Do we get 15 again here? So that must be the answer. 
I have eight seconds left before I can submit it again. One gold star. All right, good heavens. Okay, what would your total score be if everything goes exactly according to your strategy guide? Wait, part two. The second column... X means you need to lose. Y means you need to end the round in a draw. And Z means you need to win. The total score is still calculated in the same way, but now you need to figure out what shape to choose so the round ends as indicated. The example above now goes like this. In the first round, your opponent will choose rock A, and you need the round to end in a win Y uh, in a draw. So you'll also choose rock. This gives you a score of 1 plus 3 equals 4 in the second round. In the third round, now what? Now that you're correctly decrypting the ultra top secret strategy guide, you would get a total score of 12. Following the elf's instructions, what would your total score be if everything goes exactly according to the strategy guide? So we always have to win now, which means that we need to reverse this, right? Um, so flip, um, flip a dictionary Python. I haven't done this in a minute. I guess we could just literally flip it on its head. Inverse is gonna equal the value for the key for the key value in winning mappings dot items. Right, so that was total one. Um this is still close-ish. Um, so what we need now is we want to always win, right? So if we win, we're going to total it up. Um, if we were going to lose, hmm. If we were going to to lose, we now have the inverse of all of this, which means we have the opponent's map. Um, so we want to we want to always win. Always win, always win. So if we're already going to win, tally up the points and move on. Else, if we were going to lose, we want to choose the thing that's mapped. Right? We just want to choose the thing that's mapped. So uh, that would mean we'd have the um, new, let's just call it new, the inverse. We're going to put in the ABCs. We're going to input the opponent's choice. And it will spit back what we need to do to get a winning, right? Um, oh boy. Right, and then we've got the point mapping is what we'll call this. Oh crap, we can't call it that. Um, not yet at least. Let's just call it the mapping. Mapping of new, right? And then the exact same applies here. Um, and let's swap this back to, oh, it's already on sample data. So now we should get, okay, we got 16, we needed 12. Um, In the second round, your opponent will choose paper, and you choose rocks, you will lose. Oh, so you still can lose. What? That doesn't make any sense, based on what I just said. Oh, oh my goodness. The second column says how the round needs to end. Oh my gosh, they're so tricky. X means you need to lose. Y means you need to end the round in a draw. And Z means, oh my gosh. Part dos.
X is a lose, Y is a draw, and Z is a win. Right? So we actually need to do a few things, put this back together. Blah, 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 blah. Right about there. Okay. So we've got part two. P art. Oh my. Part two. This is part one. Great. So now for part two. Um, Come back to that. Come back to this. So for part two, we need to say if my choice, right? If my choice is a, a Y, then you need to end the round in a draw. So we would need to choose, right? So total would plus equals the inverse and we would say We put in the opponent's choice, right? And then we would put that into mappings. And then if my choice instead was a, an X, right? Or a, uh, let's see. We would have to lose for this one. Now let's do draw first. We just did draw, right? Why? Wow, wow, wow. Three. Right, if we drew. And then to win, I guess we just need a Z in here. Then we can do this uh, plus equals this. No, uh, total. Oh my goodness, total is plus equal to three. That's not right. That is right. Input, save, rerun, try this, see what happens. Nope, not right. Tricky, tricky, tricky. Mm. Yeah, this isn't quite right. We need the we need the inverse mappings, right? So if the second column. Oh, we can't just award ourselves points, right? In a draw. So we'll also choose, oh, okay. So we will also choose the draw mapping. Wow. Yep, 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 okay. 
So, I mean, pretty much if, if my choice, X, Y, Z, if my choice equals the character that means I have to draw, then we need to change our thing based on what the user, the uh, opponent gave, right? So we'll take what the opponent chose and we'll, we'll pipe that into what we need to choose. So we need the inverse for this. So the inverse, we get what they have, it spits out what we want, the total So the new choice, and then we have to pipe this back in. To this. The new choice. And then we get the new choice, total plus equals, um, it's gonna be the, just the normal mapping. Mapping of the new choice is gonna plus equal that to some amount. And then because we drew, we get six, right? And then exact same concept here. So do we only need this bit once like this, and we don't need this? I don't think so. We pull the sample back up. We get 15, which we need 12. So pretty close. Win, draw, three, six. And then finally, LF, if my choice is equal to the lose character. Um, actually, this can just be else. What just happened? I got rid of everything. Oh yeah, that's still not quite right. Yeah, see, this, <laughs> this means this is to win. Oh no, that is the draw mapping, my bad. But we can copy paste this here to get the um, winning mappings, right? So instead of the draw mappings, right? Now we got 14, and then if we lose, we need an inverse Do we double inverse it? <clears throat> Z doesn't exist somewhere. Can we stick it there? Nope. Or do we instead do my choice? Um, what am I thinking here? Oh, we're close.
If we lose, All right, so if we get an X, if we get an X, We need the inverse and we need our choice right because if we had an x we're going to put an x into the inverse it's going to give us A, which is what we want to lose. We want to take A and put it back into the mapping to know the total, but we're getting a... Because oh. to lose, we want the opposite of winnings. We want to know what ours, we want to know what our X will lose to. But X beats C. This is dumb. There's, there's a better way to do this, but this is taking too long. So losing mappings, right? We're, we're just going to switch this. If I want, if I want to win. Right, so Z, Z is scissors. If I wanted to lose what beats scissors, rock does, which is A. X, rock loses to paper, which is B, A, B, C. Totally backwards. B, C, A, A, wait, which ones did I, oh, I just. C, X, Y, A. Did we determine that was just ABC? It's backwards. So then we pipe it into here. We get 16, but that's not 12. Hmm. <laughs> Do we need to inverse this again? Yep, nope, that's too bad. Oh. Do we need, no, we need. That shouldn't matter. We'll get 15. In the second round, your opponent will choose paper. You will choose rock to lose. So mm, the sample data to lose to Z is, to lose to Z is A, is that right? To lose to Z is A, yep, yeah, that's correct. Except it only did that once. It only printed one thing. Oh, because we only have one losing set in there. That makes sense. Print the total. So this is this is if we were to win, which is five. And we needed it to end in a draw and give us four, so we're already broken here. X and A, B and Y, C and 
z, right? So if we had the inverse, oh shoot, this takes the winning mappings of everything. Woof. Ah, oh, this is dumb. I did a bad. I did a very bad. This is the most ugly solution that I have come up with. Inverse win, inverse lose. This is so ugly. And way too verbose. There is a thousand better ways to do this. This is the inverse draw. The inverse lose. The inverse win and uh, the inverse draw. Oh, good. Now we've got even higher points. <laughs> Fantastic. Oh, this is draw, draw, win, lose, four, there, this should, uh, this should get us our answer, hopefully, oh, I'm printing out everything, let's get rid of all this so I know what the real answer is, that one, that's not the answer, <laughs> Tricky, 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 tricky. Yeah, it's super unfortunate because they often give you sample data that's so small it doesn't catch edge cases. Um, oh, that wasn't even the right. That's 15. We need 12. Duh. Draw win Okay, so our new choice is A. Your opponent will choose rock and you need the internal analyze to also choose rock.
That's what my opponent chose. Okay. Which means I would need to choose X. X is rock. It should be an X that it's spitting out. I bet that's the problem. Draw mappings. Oh, gives me back A. Do I just want this then? I've got X. Yep, that's it. I had too many levels of diff. Uh, unbelievable. Input. Run it again. Bunch of output. Save. Done. Two gold stars. Holy cow. That took way too long. Yeah, but I dropped quite a bit in the leaderboards. <laughs> That's too bad. Really had a hard time with this one. Really had a bad time. Okay, let's go ahead and clean this up and talk about what is happening here. So for part one... Go ahead and get rid of this debugger. And we didn't even end up using these. Um, so we've got answer one total. And we've got answer to total. We can get rid of this stuff that isn't needed. Equals zero. And up here we can print both answer one and answer two. Let's just make sure that these are the answers indeed. So 12, 4, 2, 9, yep, and 9, 7, 5, 9, okay. So I, the tricky part with Advent of Code is you can very quickly mix things together, especially with the two separate parts. So we need this mapping. So this, this is actually the points mapping. So let's rename that. Oh, shoot. Um, there we go. This is the points mapping. And then we needed the winnings, the winning mappings for losing and the draw mappings for part one. Um, basically, we're going to have a battle of rock, paper, scissors. We're gonna split out the data. We're going to say, hey, if my choice happens to be a winning move against the opponent, we're going to give ourselves six points. If my choice is a draw against the opponent, we're gonna give ourselves three points. And if uh, we lose, then we're going to get nothing. And then at the very end, we are going to add um, the points that we got for choosing what we chose based on the prompt. Then we're gonna just rinse and repeat this until the very end, and we're going to return out the answer. That's part one, pretty straightforward. Part two is a little more tricky. Um, if the draw character shows up, which is a, a Y, so if a Y shows up in my column, we have to win, right? So the opponent chose C here in this example on line 2,497. The opponent chose C. And so if, if my choice equals a draw character, which is Y, I have to... Um, 
Oops. I have to draw, and so to be able to draw, we're gonna take the opponent's choice, which in this case was a C. We're gonna put it in the inverse draw, which is just this backwards, right? So they chose a C, so to win, or excuse me, to draw, we're actually gonna need a Z. So what we're gonna do is we're going to get the Z out of this inverse mapping. Um, I was pressed for time, and unfortunately I was not even remotely quick to finishing this prompt. But um, we should be building this dynamically. There's no need to redo all of this up here. Um, and maybe I'll come back and fix that later. So then we just add that to the total. We go to the points mapping, and this is the new choice to ensure we get a draw, and then we rinse and repeat. If my choice is a winning character, we're gonna do the same, but for the um, inverse win uh, mapping, we're gonna add, tally our points up and we're gonna give ourselves six points for the win. Um, in fact, if we came up here and say, win points is gonna be six, lose points is gonna equal three, uh, draw points and lose points. It's gonna equal zero to extend this just a bit. We could say that, whoops, this and this are the win points. Those are the draw points. And then the lose points mm, right there. And we can say just for verbose sake and if it ever changed, right, we could do that. So that's it. Now we print this out, we get our two answers. Um, and yeah, that just, the, the wording on this was incredibly difficult to follow and they did that on purpose and they wanted you to get caught up in things. So, yep, that's, that's pretty much it. We've got part one here, part two, and yeah. This could definitely be cleaned up, but it works for now. Um, it's way too much code, way too much time spent on it, but the concept's there. Um, and then if we go ahead and drop in our day two answers here, that one there, this one here, day two, we're in the test suite. make sure that it works. We're good to go. Woo! So yeah, go ahead and join me tomorrow for day three. I hope you enjoyed day two and we'll see you later.